Alex Campbell, who plays for the State League Division 2 Campbelltown, shares with us some of the injuries she has suffered while playing netball. I had a bad uh, ankle injury um, that took me out of the game for nearly a whole season. Um, just from simply a training, so I had cortisone injections in it to get it better, and a long-term shoulder injury, so I've dislocated it a few times. So that's been the ongoing one. As the world's leading female game, netball is among the top five injury-prone sports, according to Sports Medicine Australia. The rate of injury for netballers is 14 injuries per 1,000 hours played. Belinda Brankiri, who plays for UTS Netball, says that more education on the prevention of injuries would be helpful to players. Warming up and cooling down is important and a lot of people don't think it is and coming out and playing social sports or things on the weekends that aren't necessarily like structured competitions with coaches, they won't run through a warm up or a cool down. A lot of people play mixed netball now, um, which is great. It means that a lot of other people from different games are coming to play and because they don't necessarily have the skill to control their bodies yet, that can lead to a lot of injuries as well. Catherine Rowling, physiotherapist and Pilates instructor, has assisted many women who have been injured during the game. She says that women tend to underestimate the demands of netball on the body. In winter time is actually the busiest time for us traditionally at work um, because of, of the, those sort of winter sports. Um, see lots of ankles and lots of knee injuries, um, and occasional fingers and wrists and and shoulders from falls and things as well, but definitely knees and ankles because of that change of direction, stop-start nature of the sport. I guess as you get older as well, a lot of mums sort of go back to playing because they've got daughters that have started to play it as well. Um, and so they sort of start to take it up again, whether they play when they were younger, and I guess that's an injury for them as well, whether they've you know, been out of the game a little bit longer and they're a little bit deconditioned and they sort of think that they're 21 again and can go out and play as per normal. Lars Reynolds, exercise physiologist, says that injuries are inevitable in the game. Having your no stepping rule and playing on a hard contact, like a hard impact surface, it's just the nature of the sport that the injuries are really occurring opposed to changing any other strategies other than the rules. You play netball for fitness and enjoyment, you've got to weigh up how much you enjoy it and how much you value the fitness and being active to the risk of injury. And that's what I assume most players do and that's what I do. To reduce injuries in netball without changing the rules of the game has proved to be difficult. Ayatollah Lue for Destroy the Game.